I'm going to create a short video on how to use the, an iPad or an iPhone as a keyboard to control the Tracker Mini. Uh, also show how to get audio from Tracker Mini via USB to an iPad uh, or an iPhone. What you need is a USB-C to USB-C cable that I have here already connected to the iPad. It's recommended to connect everything before you start up the Tracker Mini or else you might get clicks and stuff uh, in the audio. Um, I learned that the hard way so now I've connected it. If you're going to connect it to an iPhone, you need a cable like this, USB-C, that goes into the tracker. Um, this one, you connect to this uh, uh, adapter uh, that goes into the iPhone. Sorry for the not getting focus here. Um, yeah, um, if you have an iPhone 15, you don't need this one. But if you have an older iPhone uh, that most people have, you need one of these adapters. It's also recommended not use a powered one. Use this one original from Apple uh, before, because the power might, might create like um, uh, disturbances and stuff like that. Now I have everything everything connected, so let's start up the tracker. It's usually pretty quick, um, and I'm gonna use AUM, A U M or whatever you call it. I think AUM does the sign. I start by connecting. Uh, or by adding it as an audio device plus hardware input tracker one plus two now there should be audio if i press play yes now you hear it uh, this track is nothing special just created for this uh, experiment so uh, now we go to an empty track to show uh, the keyboard thing i'm gonna select the acd synth for this purpose if I press uh, a note here, you should hear that note, yes. I'm going to delete that now um, because I'm going to demonstrate this. So now here, you need to add, uh, add the audio, uh, the MIDI, as a MIDI device. Press plus, MIDI, press plus here, and you get MIDI bus. Now you should have connection here. Um, now we can open the keyboard down here. You have a keyboard, nothing happens right now because you need to add a MIDI destination. And here you select MIDI output and select here, Tracker Mini. Now there should be sound. Indeed. So that's how easy it is. Um, and now I can press Rec and just punch in notes. This is nothing special. Just to demonstrate. Uh, yeah, this doesn't sound good, but now you understand the, like how it works. I can of course just alter this uh, as, as we go. I think I can select panning. Or Maybe this is not the best keyboard, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. So that's the video. Nothing complicated. There's probably other um, and better keyboard that you can use, but I think this is pretty convenient since you might anyway want to use this to get the audio. Um, and here you can also you can also add like if you if you only want to hear or like select. Uh, other channels from the tracker and I think that's pretty cool so now we have one of the um, tracks and I can select a different track and I guess I can add more here if I want to like uh, master it somehow it's pretty cool right so I recommend using this app as well okay that's it um, I've had the tracker mini for one and a half week approximately i bought it uh, because of the release of the 2.0 uh, firmware when you added synth i think that's sounded pretty cool and i always want to try tracker i want to create some drum and bass music um, even though i don't know much about it and what to do but uh it's a very cool device uh, i'm not sure if i want to have the tracker plus to get the uh, pads with this setup, you can I mean, work with it, but um, the pad sounds pretty cool, but uh, nothing 
is really like a portable device that you can travel with. Uh, and having a keyboard here or with the iPhone, I mean, it's easy to put out our iPhone on a play uh, if you need it for adding notes. So yeah, that's it for me. Bye.